Welcome back to KVU News at 530. Here's a live look at Zilker Park, where the final day of the 2023 Austin City Limits Music Festival is underway. Despite the huge crowds we've seen for the past two weekends, one group is working to keep Zilker Park beautiful. KVU's Malia Masamoto explains. ACL brings in crowds of people year after year, and along with them, of course, comes trash. But the festival's partnership with the Austin Parks Foundation is helping them clean it up. We want to make this festival as sustainable as possible, and these are really small things and easy things to do that make a huge impact. So they enlist the help of festival goers. We invite people to grab a garbage bag and they can go around the festival and pick up recyclables. And when you fill up a bag? They bring it back and they get the t-shirt of the day. So we work with local artists to create these really cool t-shirts. Katie Kennedy with the Parks Foundation says after the first weekend of the festival, people had already picked up 4,000 bags. I actually was there and I was commenting that there really isn't a lot of garbage on the ground, so they're really doing a good job of keeping the fest sustainable. And another way to keep the festival sustainable, hydration stations where people can fill their own water bottles at the park. That cuts down on, you know, thousands of bottles of plastic water bottles. And finally, they have the Divert It program that educates people on how to properly recycle their trash. We want to be at the forefront in leading that, you know, sustainability effort. Because in this city, people here love live music, they love the environment, they love our park system, so it's really cool to see all of that come together. Over the course of the foundation's 18-year partnership with ACL, they've raised $50 million for Austin's parks through wristband sales. And by making sure the parks are taken care of, it's a way to keep the festival around for years to come. In Austin, Malia Masamoto, KVU News.